what's going on boys welcome back to the channel and for today i wanted to share some more gameplay with you guys using luna snow since the last time you guys have seen her i put some work into her build and she's actually pretty close to being tier 2 and since i currently have a bio sub activated in the next week or so i'm probably gonna have her at tier 2 and i'm gonna invest quite a bit into building her up and i want to see just how well she can do in the end game content because she's actually so freaking powerful and so much fun to play for today i wanted to show you guys how she performs on an entry mode on floor 20 but before we do that let's go ahead and take a look at the build details and then we can jump in so as you can see right here i have 127 percent for attack speed on her 49 percent for critical rate 148 for critical damage 45% for ignore defense and 50% for reduced cooldown duration. And as for her gears, as you can see right here, the majority of them are at 19 and I was actually lucky enough to get one to 20. And this was all with the bios that I got for free. I was very surprised. I got very, very, like very, very lucky. I was so shocked that I got them this far along. And since I have a couple days of bio selectors, I'm probably gonna use them on her and try to get her to tier two as soon as possible because she's an amazing character that I'm looking forward to playing with a lot more. The last gear slot right here, I rolled for skill cooldown to make sure I maxed out our cooldown time. As for the skills, this is what it looked like. Everything is at six and the rotation you're gonna see me use with Luna pretty much all the time is gonna look something like five into two, into three, into four, into one, then back into five. But to be honest, as long as you're prioritizing the five and the four and using them off cooldown, she's pretty easy and very straightforward to use. She has damage immunity, multiple iframes, and multiple heals. Very, very easy character to use and very powerful. I'm excited that we currently have a cold damage character in the game that is very, very good. We've waited a long time for one, and unfortunately, it's not Iceman, but Luna is very, very powerful. As you can see, I'm running Power of Angry Hulk, and to be honest, this is gonna be awakened very, very soon. I already started on one. Well, not really, I got it to plus five. I'm probably gonna get them all to plus five and then just start awakening one after the other. As for the Obelisk, you guys can see right here, I have 39% cold damage, a 160 proc, and web immunity. This was very good and I decided I wanted to give her this because I wanted to put her into timeline once I get into tier 2 obviously and see how she performs against some of the OP characters there. Not really expecting her to do too too well because to be honest too many quicksilvers I don't see her dominating against quicksilver and Jean Grey and all those other characters are just so freaking powerful but I'm excited to try her out and see how she does because of the entice. So with that said boys let's jump in to Shadowland and have us some fun with Luna. We're gonna go up against the gods of Asgard and see how well they do because they actually remove the buff in this stage, which means her entice may not always hit and it should be interesting. All right. Let's see how fast we can clean these guys out. I wonder who's gonna die first. There's so many bodies on the map. Gotta love the range on her five. It'll be interesting to see if Odin still gets enticed. Can't even see what's going on, but I don't need to see. Woo! That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Now let's see what Odin does. He about to ruin this the whole thing, isn't he? Oh, he still gets frozen. Oh, whoa, whoa, what the heck happened? Oh, he doesn't get enticed? Hmm. Interesting. Let's see if he, if he gets... Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, so I guess occasionally he doesn't get enticed. I'm surprised Loki's not immune to cold damage here. That's a blunder on their part, to be honest. Loki should ideally be immune to cold damage at all times. 
but that was actually pretty damn impressive a minute 14 boys luna snow can't wait to get into tier 2 i just wanted to share a little bit more with their guys if there's anything else you want to see while i still have her at tier 1 let me know because once those gears hit 20 boys she's getting that tier 2 passive and we're taking her into abx once again and maybe some world boss ultimate gameplay maybe even timeline if you guys are interested so let me know some of the things you want to see with my luna while she's at tier one because like i said in about a week she's gonna be tier two but that's it for this one like always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace and love luna baby